candlestick na analysis is merely the common sense visual graphics of what occurs in investor sentiment, uh, both on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, or on a one minute, three minute, 10 minute basis. As we can see in the Dow chart, there's been an uptrend here for the last couple of weeks with the T-line, the eight exponential moving average, acting as a support level. Friday, we saw some selling, which was a potential uh, resistance at the obvious resistance level near the highs of the uh, trading range over the last few months. Today's selling this morning needed to be confirmation or needed to be confirmed by closing near the lower end of the trading range. The fact that it did a hammer type signal and closed above the T-line gives us our very simple premise that we're in an uptrend provided you stay above the T-line or you close above the T-line. Remember, in Japanese candlestick analysis, the Japanese rice traders make the most important points, the open and the close. So when they've closed above the T-line, the very simple rule is we're in an uptrend as long as the indexes close above that level. On an intraday basis, the investor, candlestick investor gets a much more uh, concise view of what's going on in investor sentiment based upon how the candle formation is uh, being set up during the day. As we saw today, the NASDAQ opened lower, traded down a little bit, but for the rest of the day, it traded above the open, basically meaning that once the uh, price opened and the sellers were out of the way, the bulls were taking control. Even though it traded lower most of the day, it was moving higher, giving us a much more clear indication of what was going on in investor sentiment. We're still looking at what everybody else looks at. If this downtrending channel is breached, we've got a strong price move. At this point, we do not have a sell signal or a confirmed sell signal that tells us that this upward trend channel is acting as resistance. With this knowledge, we can be prepared of what to do with our portfolio positions based upon how they open tomorrow. If they open up positive after a piercing signal in the Dow, or I'm sorry, in the NASDAQ, that tells us that this level right here is not going to act as resistance. We could be in wave three, same magnitude as this wave over here. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.